All right, Karen, Detroit making national headlines right now after a series of pictures from inside a local hospital went viral. Yeah, images of body bags inside Sinai Grace Hospital show the grim reality of what these first responders are dealing with every single day. Local 4's Larry Spruill is live right now. Larry, you reached out to the hospital about these photos and you heard back what they say. Well, Kimberly and Devin, they say they are facing storage issues. As a matter of fact, we're just feet away from one of those containers. Now, every day we report on the numbers of cases and deaths here. Each number represents a member of our community who has died. It's no secret that the city of Detroit has been hit hard. These containers with the words short and long term refrigeration rental on the side of them can be seen in the parking lot here at Sinai Grace Hospital Tuesday. Our cameras there as crews place what staff members here tell me are bodies inside these refrigerated containers from inside the hospital. I talked to several employees at the hospital on the phone. They did not want to be identified in fear of losing their jobs. Many described the conditions saying it's horrible. I'm telling you. Numerous news outlets have shown these photos of what appears to be body bags inside vacant rooms, including a sleep study room inside the hospital. Employees tell me they have been doing this since for at least a month since COVID-19 started. The funeral homes are full. The morgues are full. It's just so unsanitary inside. They're placing the bodies in the sleep study labs. They turn the air condition on to keep the bodies cool. The rooms are full. Sinai Grace Hospital says the COVID-19 virus has caused significantly greater than normal mortality rates in the Detroit community. This has resulted in capacity issues at funeral homes and morgues outside of Sinai Grace Hospital. Patients who pass away at our hospital are treated with respect and dignity, remaining on site until they can be appropriately released. Now, according to the Detroit Health Department's website, the number of coronavirus cases here in Detroit alone, 7,020. Out of those cases so far, there have been 424 deaths. Now, every staff member I talk to here at the hospital tell me they are having nightmares. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They say they simply will not forget what happened here. We are live on Detroit's West Side tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4. Such a grim reality of what they're dealing with every single day. Okay, Larry, thanks.